Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? This is your boy Venice. We're back for a new 2K23 vid, and in this one, we're gonna take a look at Hall of Fame Fearless Finisher, which is one of the main badges you're gonna want to equip if you're looking to make tough lays. Now, we're gonna pair this badge with obviously our 99 driving layup stat. So, if, we're, if we look at the badges I've got in these gameplays. Hall of Fame Fearless, Gold Acrobat, and Bronze Giant Slayer. So I've got a couple of random clips of pretty cool lays, plus two gameplays, so we're gonna get into it right away. Alright, so getting into these first clip, so we're gonna showcase, uh, like I said, these uh, tough layups, but we're also gonna showcase a little bit more of what this build is capable to do. Now, off the rip, you see we green the hop lay type uh, drive which is kind of kind of hard to do on the controller you've got to basically tap twice either left or right uh, for the side you want to hop the controls are pretty uh, they're not very intuitive honestly for layups it's it's a lot of double taps on the joystick the lays where you just stick it one side or the other they are super hard to time they are lightning quick so you really gotta be focused when you're playing this type of playstyle because you're gonna miss a lot of them if you're not now look at this absolute dime this build gets 90 pass accuracy so we're showing that on full display this build also can shoot now 72 is plenty to shoot i was telling you guys uh, that i was green on this build and I'm, I'm showcasing a bit of shooting just to prove you that this is not a one-time thing. But obviously the main focus of this video is going to be the Hall of Fame Fearless, which allows me to do these type of layoffs, the ones where you just drive straight into somebody. And as long as you get pretty good timing on your meter, you are basically making that. Now, as you can see, this timing was hella poor, but the contest uh, rolled itself off mid layup so i guess the contest didn't the uh, contest didn't matter too much and the timing neither now we're getting into some full gameplays i got two of them for you guys pretty cool games in the heater mode i love this mode in the theater it's fast paced it's just trees but more fun in my opinion now i have to tell you i have to be honest with you guys this is not the playstyle you want to go for if you're looking to win on this game as we hit this guy with the beautiful behind the back euro like i said this is not the playstyle you want to be going out for if you're looking to win on the game a lot of lost possessions uh, whether it's missed timings or straight up bad lays or uh, you know it just gives you mid ranges or you basically just completely miss the timing because it was too fast or very much slow or there are a there's just a lot of moving parts with this playstyle that make it not a very consistent type of way to play on this game. But I told you that I was going to put the work in and try to uh, do my best to actually develop some kind of consistency on this. And I believe I'm on the right track. I'm going to keep going at it. Plus, I just have fun trying to push the limits of the game and it makes some for some pretty entertaining content you guys tell me in the comment section if you're enjoying this type of gameplay because you basically never see this on youtube no one dares to actually try to play like this and i don't blame anyone that don't uh, want the challenge honestly it is it's hard to say it's worth your time because it is for starters very hard to learn and it's not very rewarding um when you you know you lose games because you're trying to be too fancy with layup meters and the layup badges so i've got to say it is pretty hard to actually put in the work in this aspect of the game but personally i enjoy it i don't care about losing i only care about having fun and making fire content for you guys so make sure you guys tell me if you do enjoy uh this type of uh of gameplay I'm gonna keep going at it because I feel like there is a whole world to explore just in the layup aspect of the game. So much packages, so much badges, so much mystery in some of these takeovers, man. Advanced gathers, no one uses this, but who knows what this can actually unlock. So I cannot wait to dive deeper into this playstyle. My patience is gonna be tested for sure but i do it for you guys i do it for fun and i do it 
for good content so um fearless hall of fame fearless do i recommend it well if you're going for these hard type of lays of course you gotta have it man this is like one of the most uh, key badges to have if you're looking to go for these type of layups i definitely gotta say that i see a difference with this badge on uh, and also it is one of the badges that i have, have seen that pops the most in the badge log top right it pops a lot man on every single layup as soon as there there's the slimmer of contact at the rim fearless is gonna pop so you know that it works now this gameplay is basically over uh, we end up losing this game i just put it because i had some good layups at the beginning so if you did enjoy this vid man make sure you drop a like sub up if you're new we're on that upload grind on 23 and i will catch you guys in the next vid Peace.